What's up guys, today we're going to do a video on how I come up with my characters. Um, it's a pretty simple process, but I had a few people over a period of time kind of ask about how I do it and if I come up with like original ideas from inspiration or if I just kind of try and figure something out on the paper or what. It's kind of a bit of both. Um, so I'm going to get into that and show you. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Alright, so um, when it comes to me making my characters, usually I go through couple different ideas or processes depending on what I want to do and if I know what I want to do so um, I'll just show you this page quick so this page has a bunch of stick figure positions um, these are just ones that I did probably a month or two ago and uh, I like a lot of them the ones I like a lot are circled and the ones that I don't really care for aren't circled this is just like some of the, the positions that you could probably create a character in um, so I'm probably going to skip looking at this for now, but I'm just showing you that this is what I have as a reference to like kind of look at. And so for example, let's say I choose this dude here. He's doing like a little kick. His arm is up, his arm is up. He's kind of jumping in the air doing a kick thing. This is like a really exaggerated kick. And if I was going to do something with this position, I'd probably do like a fighter character with like, I don't know, he looks like a karate dude. So for me, that's boom, inspiration right there. You just look at the position and it kind of shows you like, in your own mind what you might make that into. Somebody might use that as a, if you're drawing a girl, that could be like a dance move, or it could be a dude jumping backwards. If you change this leg position just a little bit, he could be holding a gun in this hand and shooting somebody while like jumping backwards off of a building or something. You know what I mean? Like just random different ideas. So usually what I do is I go on Google and I look for different uh, poses and stances, and then I'll kind of draw out like a quick sketch of a pose. This is a really bad sketch, I'm just, you know, whatever, doing this to show you. A little sketch of a pose, this neck is way too long. Just like, you know, to get an idea of what that looks like and then I'll get into this, the sheet, the blank sheet, and I'll just kind of start drawing it. So, I don't have any ideas yet, I'm gonna look on the, the computer real quick and uh, you guys can look with me and then we'll, we'll pick something out. All right, let's see what we can find on Safari. Uh, action pose. I don't want to do anything too, too detailed for this video. I want to keep it as quick as I can so that you guys get the idea and are able to just kind of take the idea and work with it on your own. Okay, there you go. Now you can see them better. I like this guy right here. This guy's pretty cool looking. This one's pretty cool looking. This one's actually pretty cool too. So is that. That one's dope. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I usually just look for one that I like. If I like a few, I'll probably sketch a few down and then I'll kind of decide what I want to go with from there. So let's go back to the paper. And I'm going to just get a couple of these in there onto this paper. So just do a little head quick. Arm comes back a bit like that. Other arm is behind his head like that. And you just want to do a real simple basic sketch of what you're trying to get so that you can see the shape of the body and the angles. This leg is tiny here because the perspective of it makes it look tiny. And this one will be a little bit smaller. See I already don't like the way that looks, position, positionally, if that's a word. So I would probably adjust that, but we'll leave it for now just to get moving. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go with this one or this one or maybe even both just to show you guys. So sorry that took so long. I'm just warming up a little bit too. I haven't started sketching yet today. So anyways, I'm gonna take these two and we're gonna, we're gonna do something with them. So let's do that. <clears throat> okay, so once I have one of these sketches, um, I start doing like a bit of construction. So first I'll obviously start with the head. Get the neck going on. Now, you can see his chest technically should be like this. So you have to know some body perspective to do things the way I do it, but this is generally what's gonna happen. We're gonna end up with a dude that looks kinda like this. Big old forearm, it's elongated, because his hand is gonna be huge. 
and then this one's gonna be further back so it'll be much smaller and boom there you go you see how it's gonna kind of look so let's just hope we can get a better position than that so sometimes I'll even start with the actual stick figure itself just to um, get my idea flowing a bit better and to have that position now the reason the stick position is really good to start with is because you can really quickly and easily with the just the simple lines of the legs and the arms get the right proportions to some degree for how you want his body length and width or whatever to be so for me I want him to be like just normal sized his shoulders are kind of like super arched up here this is where his chest would be so I'll just put that there now and this is just a super rough quick thing this isn't going to be uh, perfect yet I'm going to work on it once I get the general rough sketch in so you don't want to be too particular with what you're doing at the beginning or you might end up stuck later so that's kind of the shape we're going for and then so now once I have that shape and I like the, the proportions or at least I think they're okay you just move on to the next piece which would be actually filling in the arms and things so I'm gonna start up here because this hand needs to be bigger so let's say the hand is like that forearm can be pretty thick because it's coming forward and you have the arm back here shoulders can be a little bit bigger than that you know what the shoulder actually should even be deeper in towards his face so let's do that real quick this should, wow <laughs> my eraser is falling apart okay here we go that's where we want it right there okay Is that more of an angle this shoulder's kind of here but it's a bit hidden in fact it's so hidden on that picture that it shouldn't even really be visible so i'm going to do this make a tiny little bulge there okay now his back is curving a bit body's arched. So his belly's got to have a curve. And this is his pelvis area, so I do this. I kind of shape it around just so I know that the pelvis ends there with the, the stomach. Give it a little line so I know this is the side. Okay. And then you got to have your leg sockets. So this leg is going to be bigger than the other leg because it's also going to be kind of on that angle where it's sticking forward a bit. You want to bring his butt out just a tiny wee bit, not too much to make it look funny, but it's got to look like there's a butt there because everybody's got butts. Butts, butts, we've all got butts. Okay, there we go. And we'll calf. Boom, looking good. And this leg's going to be crunched up there a bit. And we'll need calf. again and this foot technically could be hidden so we're gonna hide it behind to make his leg look like it's long enough for the other leg <coughs> maybe have it coming no I prefer, prefer it like that I think for now you know what actually let's do this a bit different for the sake of trying to make it look decent. Make his leg thicker so that it's more folded back and then it's just a tiny little leg here. You barely see the back of his leg because of the angles he's on. I might change that after, but for now it looks okay for the sketch. His final arm here and the hand. Okay, so cool. So once I have that, I start filling in different body parts with whatever design I think is actually gonna be what I like. So right now, um, he looks like he's obviously fighting. I don't really have any particular ideas on what I could do for this character because I'm kind of trying to do this quickly, but I usually start with the head and I usually will have an idea for it. So one thing I know is in the photo that I took it from, his head is actually on this angle here with his eyes over here. But me, I don't like that right now. So I'm actually gonna take his head 
I'm gonna have him facing where his hand is, kind of. So I'm gonna have him facing up here. His eyes will kind of be looking up. This is just rough, don't worry. His eyes will be up there. Even though he probably might not even have eyes. Usually I, I don't do eyes for my characters, but yeah. All right, so cool. What do I want to do? Let's give him a hat. Okay, we'll give him a, maybe a baseball hat or a toque. Let's see, Let's see how it goes. I need to remove these eyes because they're going to bother me. I'm going to bring this down a little. So this is part of the process, is just going through, you know, roughing things out, taking your time to kind of find out what looks best and what you want it to look like. It might take a while, sometimes it takes quite a quite a while, but it's worth going through this process because you want to make sure you get the best sketch you can. A lot of people will do like different sketches too. They'll have this same position three times in a row on a different page and just try different designs for characters. Me, I usually just mess with the same design and I keep changing things until I find what I like. So, I mean, honestly, the more professional and better way is probably to do the three or four different types of sketches with the same position with all different ideas and then mixing all the different ideas you got into one. Uh, I just, I really don't like to do that. I like to finish one piece and leave it there, that's just, I don't know, that's the way I do things. I might change it in the future, but right now we're gonna do it, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna do it the way I do it. So I'm gonna give him a hat. Okay, I don't like that hat. So this is when you go back and try something else. So I'm gonna do a, let's do a backwards hat, because I really don't do backwards hats very often. Sometimes it'll take a minute to figure out the positions of things and where you think they should go aren't really where they should go. There we go, that looks like it should be. Okay, all right, good. Awesome, moving forward to the next part, the other ear here. His face, now I don't want his eyes to be showing so I'm gonna lower this hat rim, make it deeper. I'll go with that. Eye tired thingies so that you can see that there are eyes there. That's fine for now until I go back later. I might change that. Let's give him a little, a little angry face. Some teeth and a little lip. Alright, cool. That's not very great, but that's fine. Alright, moving on to the neck. So, what should I give him? I feel like he could have. I feel like he'd look alright in like a varsity jacket, so let's try for that. Boom, okay, great. Whip out this edge a bit because he's wearing a coat. So this is gonna be, if this is his body shape and he had nipples here and abs here, and this was his belly and stomach and everything without clothes, then that means his clothes would sit on him a little bit thicker. So you're gonna want them to be a bit thicker. Now this is where it gets kind of messy, by the way. When you do things like this, you'll at first you'll, you might have a struggle to understand what's really going on, but eventually as you keep practicing and keep watching the way you do things and keep figuring it all out, you might um, develop the ability, or you should have developed the ability to see what's happening properly and understand what your sketch is supposed to look like even though you have this big mess. So for example, I'll erase this all now, just so you guys can see where we're at. Erase that leg piece, erase this. Now things are gonna be, need adjustments for sure, they usually do, but even just after erasing those couple little sections, you can see that this actually doesn't look so bad and it looks like a coat. Battery's getting low, which isn't good. I'm gonna give him a baggier t-shirt than I usually would, just because it feels like it would suit him. It almost looks like a dress, but it'll look all right after when I'm finished. Should anyway. But. Okay, cool, battery charged. So let's continue with this. We'll get it done, and then maybe we'll do the one more. All right, so as I was saying, I did a baggy shirt. Now I have to do the pants. 
so I'm gonna have baggy pants as well. Because if I don't do baggy pants on this one, it's gonna look like he's wearing a dress. Remember, like I said, when you're putting clothes on a character, you wanna have the pants and the shirt and the jacket or whatever he's wearing to slightly lift from the actual legs width so that it looks like it's a layer on top of their body. Now his leg here, I think I wanna, I think I am gonna bring it down a little bit. All right, cool. That looks decent enough. So now you can see that he's starting to look like he's got some clothes on. And give him a quick pair of kicks. Okay, that's good. This shoe is not visible, which is actually very convenient at the moment because I don't want to draw it, so that's perfect. So I'll give this hand, actually, I want to see the position that this hand was in in the photo that I had on the computer. I liked it. Alright, so now I'll do the hand. The hand could probably be a little smaller, but that's fine. Okay, so there we go. So now we have our general character, the way he looks looks decent, so I'm going to erase all these extra lines so I can add in any extras I want to add in, or even make changes if I want to. I Personally, I don't like this character very much, but the reason is because I went with something really simple and basic. It's not something I normally would uh, do when it comes to the, the backwards hat and the varsity jacket. Like, he just, to me, he looks too much like a high school football player, and I never really liked sports, so... For me, he doesn't look like a character I would actually make into a piece. So I think I might actually make some adjustments to make him into something I would enjoy making a piece out of. So let's let's do that for now. All right. So I want to change his hat again, and that's actually a fine shape to start with right there. So I'll leave this little edge. And now with a quick little adjust, just gonna really quickly give this a rim. Okay, that's way better. Awesome. Okay, give him that little bit of hair again over on this side. Earring, fix the ear. Okay, so now I feel like he looks pretty cool. I want to change a couple things on the clothing. So, what do I want to do here? Um, you know what? I kind of actually like it now. Now that the, the head's changed, it's not so bad. So, I'm going to give him a backpack. That's something I like to do for my characters. Give him a, I'm gonna give him a chain. If you're a beginner and you're just starting off with your characters and stuff, you may not be able to get characters made as well as I'm, I or somebody else might be able to do it, and I'm not claiming to be a pro by any means, but my point is don't feel discouraged, just keep trying and try everything. You know what I mean? If you want to do a chain on a, on a guy's pair of pants and you're not good at chains, Look up how a chain looks and just try and draw the chain on its own for a little bit. And once you feel like you've got it at least to a comfortable level where you're okay with it and you're ready to put it down, then just lay down a chain, you know what I mean? And don't feel bad if you're not too good at it yet. It's going to take a lot of time. I've been doing this for a long, long time and characters especially. When I was a kid, all I all I ever drew, bleh, 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 bleh. All I ever drew was um, characters. I never drew backgrounds, I never drew landscapes, I never drew anything except for characters for the longest, longest time. And I'm actually gonna say, if you're gonna draw mostly characters, that's a great idea, you can do that. But I highly encourage that you start off in your younger days working with body construction with the little, you know, dudes like this, the stick figure guys. 
and then using the circles and the you know the chest circles and the shoulder circles and the elbow circles honestly I know it seems silly and it's annoying and you know you have to take for forever to do that but I promise you you'll end up with a much better character if you just take the time to really work it in and, and get what you really want down there because without the without the stick figure like you see that this guy's shape is pretty simple when you look at it as a stick figure but when it comes down to it it's not that easy to just draw this out of nowhere without having some sort of reference to, to look at. So for me, it makes a lot more sense to have some sort of reference for the shaping. And then you just follow the lines, you know what I mean? You give them the elbow circles, the knee circles, and then you know where the joints are. And you know the shoulders are here, so you know to make circles for the shoulders. And then you make little cylinders for the hands and so on, you know what I mean? So. I'm not the best person to show body construction in a tutorial. I, I could do it, but there's plenty of them on YouTube. I'm not saying go watch those instead of me. If you guys really want me to make it, I'd be happy to make it. I just don't feel like I'm the best person to um, to be ref referencing from when it comes to body construction. I learned it from other people on YouTube, and I'm not the best at it yet by any means. I know that I have a lot to learn still, and so that's why I'm saying you know there's a lot of great, really, really great tutorials on body construction and different ways of doing poses and practicing poses. My my best and most favorite artist to watch on YouTube personally even now is uh, Draw With Jazza. So that's the first person I would recommend at any point. Draw With Jazza is absolutely one of the best in my opinion when it comes to um, tutorials and not being bored watching the tutorial. He, he doesn't make it too boring. He makes it a bit interesting. You know he's a funny guy so it's just it's easier to watch when it's when it's his tutorial more than it is from other people. Um, so yeah, all right, so I think this is looking pretty decent right now. So I'm gonna, oops, I forgot the pocket over there. I'm gonna say that this guy is pretty much done, and you know what, I like him enough that I might do a character with him in the future, so that's pretty awesome. I always like when that happens. All right, cool. So we're gonna take him, we're gonna leave him how he is. Okay, looks fairly good. All right, now for the uh, erasing part. Now his lines aren't thick, so he's probably gonna look less characteristic. Because normally my characters have thicker lines, but it's all good. I'm not gonna thicken the lines, that would take too long. It would take too much time because I have to be very, 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 very patient and specific with those, so. Boom, there we have it. A messy table and a beautiful sketch. So that's that guy, and you'll probably see him in the future because he looks pretty dope. And that's the tutorial, how to, how I create my characters thingy, how I come up with my inspiration. So like I said, just go online, look for poses. You know, when you're out, look for different people's outfits, and if you think it's a cool outfit, maybe that'll inspire you. It depends what kind of characters you're into making. And yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it. So that's the piece, and I hope you guys enjoyed this very awkward and unusual how-to. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. If you like stuff like this, um, you can definitely make some recommendations or some suggestions in the comments. I may or may not do them, but I'm very welcome to hearing the ideas you guys have. And uh, yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.